What's up, Yappa fam, and welcome to today's TOTD. So you guys, let me be very transparent with you. When I was younger, I was more introverted. I kind of kept to myself. When I would make friends, when I would find people that I really liked, I would open up and be silly, old bunny, avial <laughs> I'd be crazy, I'd be kooky, I'd be wild. But meeting new people, <laughs> that was when I was kind of like in a little shell. Didn't really like it. Wasn't my forte. And I know we got a lot of conferences coming up here soon. A lot of conventions. A lot of youth gatherings, camps, etc, etc. So I'm going to give you guys three tips in today's TOTD that'll help get you out of the box, the box of introversion, and get you to the place where you can step out of your shell, make as many friends as you so desire, and get all the followers on Instagram you want. <laughs> so without further ado, let's jump into the first tip. Very first tip, the Bible says if you want friends, show yourself friendly. Show yourself friendly. So young lady, so young man. This is is not showing yourself friendly. Ooh, I'm high. Ooh, people. Ooh, ah. that, that, that's not real friendliness. And that ain't gonna get you too many friends. So instead of being piglet, what you gotta do is cut. <laughs> you gotta show yourself approachable. And that looks more like. Die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, maybe not like that, but it does mean squaring your shoulder, putting a smile on your face. You got the joy of the Holy Ghost. Show it through your face. Show it through your smile. Show it through your posture. Square your shoulders. Raise your neck high. Stand up tall with a smile on your face and the joy of the Lord about you. So first tip, smile and posture. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> now this tip's going to be difficult. This one's going to require you really getting out of yourself. Stretching and oh, this is gonna be so uncomfortable. Oh, but trust me, it's gonna be so worth it. Now, guys, remember, I started off as an introvert, and I'll say when I'm not forcing myself out of my shell, I revert back to that introversion. So it is something that you actually have to keep yourself at. So tip number two, guys, you got to go meet new people. If you want new friends, friends are people, so you're gonna need to meet people in order to see if those people will become your friends and you get new friends. Okay, right, yeah, makes sense. Well, Avial. How do you meet new people? Very simple. You gotta break out of your shell of introversion, stick your hand in someone's face, expect them to shake it, and introduce yourself. Very simply, hi, my name's Avery. Now you just launched out of yourself, and you're going out of yourself to meet someone new. Nerve wracking, yes, but all you gotta do is wait for them to respond. The worst that they can do is turn their back on you. And that's not that bad, it's just the back that just, that's turned to you. And like 99.99% of everybody is not going to be that rude to turn their back on you. So they're going to give you a little bit of time of day, and that's where you engage in small talk. Now here's the thing. You're thinking, oh my goodness, Angel, but I've never broken out my shell. How do I do that and it feel comfortable? <laughs> So fun. Well, let me give you a little insight. It's not gonna feel comfortable. You're not gonna like it. You're probably gonna absolutely abhor that breaking out of your shell. Your heart's gonna race. You're gonna trip over your words. Gonna get a lump in your throat. Probably start sweating. And when you shake that person's hand, you'll probably be quivering. Since the name of the game. But the only way to get through that and press through that is to push past that and make it happen. You gotta make it happen. The only way to overcome your fears is to face your fears and then overcome them. And trust me, it's not that bad. So, posture, smile, and rip out of your shell, get into the uncomfortable zone of everything, stick your hand out, and introduce yourself. Tip number three, absolutely forget about everything you're doing at the moment that you're talking to the person. You just did one of the most difficult things to do, and that's step out of your shell. You broke past it, it was uncomfortable, you're squirming, ugh. You did all that, and you made it through. So now, you're in a conversation with someone that you know absolutely nothing about, and you're expecting this phenomenal no conversation to happen, but you don't know the person. <laughs> Funny deal. So let me give you guys tip three. Tip number three, be genuinely interested in that individual and forget everything else that's happening right then and there. Forget about your sweaty palms. Forget about the lump in your throat. Forget about how when you shake their hand, your hand was quaking. Forget about your heartbeat. Forget about all that. It's in the past. You just broke past that. Be present in that conversation. Learn about that person. Be genuinely interested. When they start talking about baseball, you don't even like baseball, when they start talking about their favorite soda, when they start talking about how they got to where they got to and the, the travel and all that, when they start talking about that, be interested. Wow, you know,
know, I, I never played baseball before. Tell me some of the dynamics of playing the game. You know, I never tried that drink before. What about the flavor makes you like it? It took 32 hours for you guys to drive all the way over here? <laughs> Dude, I live like right up the street. What was the most interesting place that you traveled through on your way here? Ask those type of questions. Be present and be engaged. And I promise you guys, if you guys implement those three tips, you'll become a phenomenal conversationalist. You'll break out of your shell. The introvert will become extrovert. You guys will have friends because you showed yourself friendly, you broke out of your shell, and you made conversation happen. So do those things, Yappa fam. Square your shoulders, put a smile on your face, stick your hand in theirs, break out of your shell, be present in the conversation, apply that at the next youth conference, youth convention, summer camp, whatever. And just so you know, fellas, the same thing applies when you're trying to talk to a lady, to all the fellas out there. <laughs> I love you guys. My camera's about to die, so I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's TOTD. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Of course, if you liked it. But better than that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get daily TOTDs with the weekly Yappa Solid podcast and announcements, vlogs, and updates about everything Yappa 238. Now that you subscribe, do me another favor. There's an itty bitty share button down below. Go ahead and slap that and share the message of Yappa 238 to everybody you know. They're going to thank you for it, trust me. Follow Yappa 238 on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play for content coming at you every single day. So check us out on those platforms. Avery Issa with Yappa 238 signing off. And I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. Be Yappa Solid. But above all, be Yappa Solid.